there's a $5 billion resort being constructed by the Saudi government and the Red Sea. In this video, we're going to take a look at the spectacular Red Sea project that's ready to transform the west coast of Saudi Arabia. Massive in scope, the Red Sea project will maximize the use of about 10,800 square miles of coastline, desert, and mountain ranges. This massive resort is an element of the Saudi Vision 2030 program, which seeks to diversify the Saudi economy away from its reliance on oil. The estimated 70,000 new jobs and $5.3 billion in revenue from this project will significantly boost the economy. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia first announced these plans in 2017. He wants to promote high-end, environmentally responsible tourism. Although most of this area's 90 islands won't be developed for conservation reasons, 16 hotels will be built on Shura Island as part of the first phase of the project. There are already livable sections of the project that have been built. To accommodate the 14,000 workers who will operate the resorts and amenities, a coastal village is currently under construction. More than 10,000 people are currently working to complete this massive undertaking. Architect Foster and Partners design for the resort on Shura Island was inspired by its natural state. The island is surrounded by hundreds of different coral species, and so they have named the resort Coral Bloom. The hotels here blend in with the sand dunes as if they were washed up there like pieces of driftwood. All manufacturing will be performed off-site to reduce construction-related pollution and save money on energy costs. The plan is to use the world's largest battery system to completely run the facility on renewable energy. A new bridge will span the distance of just under two miles, linking the island to the mainland's other resorts, the southern dunes, and the desert rock. The southern dunes, located just off the Red Sea coast, are quickly gaining popularity as a high-end vacation spot for travelers from all over the world. To better serve international passengers, a brand new airport is currently under construction. Once finished, it will be located close to the southern dunes. Similar to their efforts on Shura Island, the architects are trying to revolutionize the way we think about and treat the environment. Located at the point where sand dunes and mountains meet, this resort will have 40 mountain villas. These hotels were created with the local landscape in mind. The roofs were designed to blend in with the desert landscape. No detail was spared in achieving the desired harmony between the structure and the incredible desert landscape. Restaurants were placed on the site's highest points to take full advantage of the spectacular sunset. The buildings had been meticulously planned in an effort to reduce their negative effects on the surrounding environment. The landscaping was carefully planned so as to both complement and preserve the natural beauty of the area. The desert rock part of the construction is actually in the side of a mountain. The 48 villas and 1200 rooms will blend in with the hard rocks. To reduce the negative effects of the construction as much as possible, most of the materials used will be recycled from the site. To keep guests from being bothered by noise and light pollution, the access roads into the desert rock and the hotel rooms are concealed by the building's design. The Red Sea and its surrounding area were specifically selected for this endeavor because of the unique combination of factors available there. The ease of access was also a major factor. The development firm working on this project in the Red Sea claims that it is easily accessible from anywhere in the world. Once the dedicated airports are operational, 250 million people will be able to fly there in under four hours. It will take seven hours to fly from Western Europe, eight hours from East Asia, and 13 hours from North America to reach the Red Sea Resort. The average summer temperature in the Western region of Saudi Arabia is 32 degrees Celsius, or slightly below 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and there are 360 days of beautiful sunshine per year, making this region an ideal vacation spot. There's no shortage of things to see and do if you're an outdoor enthusiast, from thriving ecosystems to stunning marine life to dormant volcanoes. There are 195 species of fish and 175 species of coral in this area, making it the fourth largest barrier reef ecosystem in the world and home to many endangered species. Some critically endangered seabirds also make their home in the Red Sea. This means that only 22 of the islands in the archipelago will be developed for this project leaving the remaining 75% uninhabited. The planners are even setting aside nine islands as protected areas. Water eco excursions, including a variety of water sport activities, will be provided by the resort due to the distinctive marine ecosystem. 
These excursions will be carefully monitored to ensure that nature is not harmed. The Red Sea Project appreciates the value of these natural areas. Other policies include a total ban on single-use plastics, a goal of sending zero waste to landfills and achieving carbon neutrality. When it comes to the project's conservation efforts, each primary site has its own set of priorities and difficulties. Desert Rock was planned to help restore native plant life while cutting down on energy use. The area also features extensive water retention and distribution systems for collecting rainwater. The sand and stone already present in the desert will be used to make concrete aggregate, which is the primary material being used to construct Desert Rock. The construction of Shura Island is aiding in the preservation of the protected islands by reducing erosion. Construction of the southern dunes is underway, and it will use extremely light materials that won't retain heat like stone does. The vast area that this project is working in is largely undisturbed, and everyone involved is doing everything they can to keep it that way. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. We produce lots of videos covering the wealthiest, most prosperous people and places around the world. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time.